Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, quick tip, how to change the overlay features or the information in your navigation screen in each corner. Um, it, it's, it's a lot easier than going through the menu system and going through all the menu settings and going like that. It's a lot easier to do it the way I'm gonna do it. But guys, also wanted to tell you, headed to Lake Fork the 11th through the 14th. I'm gonna take two classes, uh, middle of the day classes. I haven't even advertised it yet, so I'm gonna advertise it on the channel first. Um, if you're interested, inbox me on Facebook or email me at thegarmanguru at gmail.com. But let's get right into this tip right now. All right, from the navigation screen, you have four corners of overlay data. Now, you can go into the option menu and change these overlay datas, but what I like to do is actually you just press on a corner, and it's kind of a long press, and when you long press it, it brings up a myriad of options which you can choose from. And when you do that, then you can set each corner one at a time and and this is a this is a quick one you can do it from the navigation and never leave the navigation screen now you can also go into the overlay data and it'll bring up this screen and you can choose each corner and choose exactly what you want in each corner but it also allows you to choose the top bar and the lower bar menus um, for example if you want to put the trolling motor menu at the bottom of the screen or if you want to put it at the top of the screen you, you can do a lot of different things it's very you know the customization of these screens is really amazing uh, when you put the trolling motor at the bottom, I'm not a big fan of it because I feel like it kind of pinches the screen in. Um, I prefer mine at the top because we do have the menu, uh, the new operating system menu at the bottom. And it just seems a little bit cluttered, so I like to have mine at the top. And I always have my trolling motor menu bar available at the top of the screen on the navigation bar because when i'm fishing i usually just leave my back screen on the navigation and that way if you catch a big fish and you go back there and you forget to hit the uh you know spot lock on your trolling motor you can reach up to your screen hit spot lock very quickly and lock yourself in and and you don't have to run back to the front of the trolling motor or anything like that you can see you can actually turn the <laughs> uh, i was showing my son here you can actually turn the trolling motor to the left and the right very you know, you can do a lot. You can do anything that you can do with the remote or the foot pedal. Um, you can lock that in. So there's so many little options here. Guys, I hope that helped. It makes it a lot easier, a lot simpler, a lot quicker. I see this question a lot. And is sometimes this one's a little bit tricky sometimes to adjust. But these are very easy to do when you do it. This really works better in the touchscreen version because you can just touch it in the corners. But it will work like this in the... Uh, GPS maps here, the GPS 1022 and the 1222 is also. But guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Remember, inbox me if you're interested. In I got two classes first come, first serve. I'm doing two. That's it. I'm going to do a middle of the day ones. Um, let me know. And you know, ring the bell.